Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the top three Unity assets for March, April 2022. And this month features over 76 free incredible assets on the Unity store. I've got a link down in the description for you to check those out and you can get hold of those and look through them all to your heart's content. But I've chosen some of the best of the bunch to showcase to you, to show you what talented developers have stuff to offer. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 135 different scripts, projects and assets you cannot find anywhere else. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the sales for Humble, the Unity Asset Store and stuff coming up. Throw a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed to be always kept up to date to all the awesome tutorials and assets coming up. And then we have the Air Bolio 3D Chinese modular house and this is a Chinese village scene with all the assets that you can use and it's an easy way to customize. And this has modular walls, floors, ceilings, roofs, rocks, steampunks, ivies, ferns, trees and more over 150 objects included most textures are 4k but vary from 2 to 4 with base mask mac and normal and suitable only for hdrp and looks incredibly awesome the next one is bswrar and this stands for borderland style weapon randomization and rarity and this allows you to make customization and unlimited amounts of weapons based on specific parameters and there's no programming required and it's very easy to set up works in every pipeline and allows you to add different components based on the amount of different models you have for different parts whether that's scopes magazines grips stocks and different things that you could generate weapons and have a multitude of incredible amount of weapons. The next one is Giant Animations Free, and this is a selection of animations for a giant, whether that's an idle, walk, run, attack, and being damaged. The next one is the Low Poly Young Go Free, and it's a simple model with around 1,500 polygons with 4K size textures with one shader, and it's a Unity Humanoid compatible model. Next one is Wall Shader X-Ray, and this is a simple shader to create specific transparent walls, and this uses a simple shader to create it with URP and the shader graph. The next one is something called Drone Explorer Pack and this has a small drone that lets you move around the scene in that sort of drone style with, with WASD or Xbox input to be able to fly around or move around in your scene. The next one is something called Material Analyzer which lets you gather all the materials in the hierarchy and open up a window with the following information whether it be the name of the material, the shader path, the material project path, whether the material has an icon that you can view in the project and the mesh icon connected to the material. The next one is Stylized C Sharp Script and this is a free asset which allows you to customize the Unity editor to be able to create custom inspectors whether that you need to create titles, headings, subheadings to be able to create things and understand the ways to organize it, make it more neater and make it just nice and readable and easy to use. The next one is Fusion Dragon Hunters VR and this is a Fusion VR sample project and you do need a Photon account to run the demo but it's got different support for bow and arrow gameplay, scorekeeping, predictive spawning for arrows, arrow sticking and movement, voice communication and the dragons that are featured in the demo. The next one is the free stylized weapons, but this includes three axes, four swords, one hammer, one pole arm, scythe, two shields, two daggers, one musket, and three particular staves. The next one is something called Simple Timers, and it's a drag and drop timer to help to create time based events displaying time in Unity UI. So you've got different things for non coders, you've got, you've got different ways to display it, you've got cooldowns, you've got lots of variety to controlling the time within it. The next one is 32 RPG style animations, and this includes idols, combat sprints, running left, right, up, down, rolls, magic attacks, bow shots blocking loops, deaths, gathering, mining. The next one is something called Dot Trail, and this allows you to write in sequence code that can be used instead of an enumerator. And this allows you to easily do animations, transitions, and other things. And it allows you to take specific things and write them in such a concise way, whereas normally to write a coroutine to wait, You'd have to wait for seconds, but this you can shorthand to dot wait, choose the amount of time. The next one is something called notes, and this allows you to add notes to assets, folders, mono behaviors, prefabs, and every different component or an object within Unity to keep track of things, give them names, make them more obvious, and just make your Unity life that little bit easier. 
We've got the Paths Simple Waypoint System. So this is a C-sharp open source library for creating waypoints. You can create them directly in the editor, edit waypoints directly in the scene, apply smoothings to the paths, paths, rotations, and controls. You can debug them, you can use path patterns, and you can use automatic optimal smoothing to create waypoints exactly as you want. Next one is the Free Pipes Collection. And this is a collection of 10 game-ready pipes, short, thin, thick, and different installations, curbed, crossed, and whatever you want them to be. The next one is something called Mo Routines, and this is a way to extend coroutines in Unity, and coroutines normally built into Unity and C Sharp are limited by a few things, and this asset is not limited, lets you choose whether they're running, they're suspended, completed, or destroyed. You can pause and restart them on the actual class object. You can create coroutines with a delayed start. You, there's no possibility that you have to wait or pause when resuming. You can subscribe to the coroutine when you've got a specific state change, a way to get last results for the coroutine. So it's a way to extend them beyond what you normally see. The next one is the health system, which includes a learning video. And this is a fully featured health system to apply to the player, enemies, and different objects. The demo does have things for applying character health, whether that's health, damage, healing, listening for events, and doing things where things are undamaged or on death and adding different components just to take this to the next level. We've got something called extensions and extensions allows you to take what normally you would write in code, which would maybe be three lines and revert that down into one. You can write code faster and more efficient and it allows structures and classes to be extended, whether that's floats, doubles, colors, vectors, quaternions, recs, objects, graphics, transform, rectums, firms, cameras, and has loads of examples taking the transform and setting the position in one line, the vectors in one line. So be sure to check out all these amazing assets for March, April 2022, and let me know what you think because this might be one of the best months I've ever seen. And be sure to write down if you'd like to see any videos of these particular assets. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 135 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website with bonus discounts if you're a patron and or you look at the description in YouTube to get the bonus discount code. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.